are here at the uh, at CSSRI, the scientists of which have developed the 340 uh, gene to develop salt tolerant varieties. As the salinity is a big challenge. We have 67 lakh hectare of salt affected soils, out of which they are both alkali soils as well as saline soils. We have different technologies for their reclamation and how we get higher income, higher produce from such kind of soils. And in this way, while we are having the different technologies, first one is that is the reclamation on the part of soils, how we can reclaim the soils and only then we would be able to grow better varieties, we can get better produce. On the other side, we can have better varieties which can give you higher produce on the salt affected soils. CSSRI has already given many varieties in rice, that is 10 varieties, in wheat 5 varieties, in mustard 5 varieties and in gram that is karnal chana 1 that is one variety. Around and in coastal region also CSRI has already released 3 varieties of rice. So in this way by following the traditional methods we have developed the salt tolerant varieties which are giving us much higher yields and farmers they are getting higher benefits are by growing these varieties. But as the area, as the time is progressing, we are also following different methods besides the traditional methods by crossing different varieties. Now we are following the biotechnological approaches, the newer approaches. Because by following the biotechno uh, biotechnological approaches, we can aim for the more Persian as well as more higher yields. We have also joined with the scientists who uh, who have uh, done work on this project. Uh, Ma'am, uh, how many gene uh, you have identified during the research and when did you start this research? Uh, actually, briefly, I should say that uh, this project on gene identification was funded by ICR, National Agricultural Science Fund, New Delhi. And uh, under this project, we are working on the grass halophytes which have been collected from runoff Kach Gujarat because that is extremely saline conditions. So the objective of the project was that the plants who are surviving at such a high salt concentration, what actually genes are responsible which are providing the tolerance mechanism. So using the next generation sequencing data and the various bioinformatics tool, we have so far identified 340 genes which are differentially expressed under high salinity concentrations. And out of of these genes now we are validating few genes which are directly involved in imparting tolerance against the salt stress.